if you talk to your husband crazy or like he's a little boy or like he's one of your little minions that might make things more difficult for you this lady is saying that <clears throat> talking to your husband in an ash storm because you want him to do something might not make him to know what exactly he needs to do so she's trying to advise like oh what she used to do before is she's always raising her voice but these things are not done da, 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 da. but now it's not like that and she just had to explain to him and you already know exactly what to do let me roll the clip for you all to watch to the end and i'll be back at the end of the video a hill that i would die on is that women shape the dynamic of their relationship um, an older lady told me that when I was young, um, young, fresh married and stupid, <laughs> and I didn't believe that lady, but now I do. There, uh, maybe a few months ago, I had a conversation with my husband. He initiated the conversation. He said, we were sitting down and he said, we're sitting here relaxing and you still look tired. What's wrong? And the way that I answered that, when I reflect on the way that I answered it in that moment a few months ago versus how I would have answered that question 10 years ago, completely different. Um, and I had completely different results. I used to be very, very aggressive and accusatory towards my husband. And so he would be very defensive. And we were just in this crazy cycle of tension and like unresolved issues. Whereas now I still get my point across, right? Let me give you an example. When he said that back then, I'd have been like, oh, y'all not doing this. You're not helping me to do this. I do this. I'm doing all of these things by myself. Me, 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 right? It's all about me. And that would have caused him to jump into defense because why wouldn't it? Like, you're going to sit here and tell me all that you do. Hold up. Let me, let me run out my laundry list too. But in that moment when he asked me, I was immediately, I said the good first, right? Not necessarily the good, but I was like all the things that I appreciate you know, I'm appreciative that I'm able to homeschool the kids. I love being able to spend as much time as a family as I want. I love that I can still run a business, all these things. And this was genuine. This is what came out. I'm just reflecting on it now. Um, but I said, I'm finding it. I can't remember the exact words, but something along the lines of I'm finding it more difficult to manage all of what I'm doing on a regular basis and my responsibilities with the household tasks. And... The next day, this man had the children <laughs> at the dinner table with a hand-drawn graph, and he put out the days of the week, and he split the three children who are able to do household chores across that list, and they set up a schedule for doing household tasks. And that's something so simple, but he immediately, I noticed like now, he immediately jumps into solving the problem and it's because of growth obviously but it's also the communication if you talk to your husband crazy or like he's a little boy or like he's one of your little minions that might make things more difficult for you and that's all i'm going to say about that um i'm not a marriage counselor I don't often offer marriage advice that's just something that i was sitting here journaling and reflecting on and i feel like it's good information for the public to have. Good night. I agree with her and, and saying that women are the ones that control the dynamic of the relationship. Would you say that we should silence ourselves when you want things to be done? Especially when, you know, when you have a man that is not a good leader, that he always waits for you to do things. He always wants you to tell him this is supposed to be done before doing it. As a woman that you know that this thing needs to be done, would you just, is it wise to just keep quiet and just allow it to slide and let him figure it out or we should not talk? Because the next video I'm going to play with you, play for you all, she was saying that men are not natural leaders. And I feel like we've talked about this a long time ago by Priscilla, the queen maker, was trying to analyze how men are not a natural leader. They are not natural leaders. They are not natural protectors. They are just natural followers, right? They always try to follow things. They don't know how to take the lead like that. So let me let me play this video for you all to watch while she's explaining it, and I'll be back at the end of the video. The that I would die on is that women shape the dynamic of their relationship. I used to be very very aggressive and accusatory towards my husband and so he would be very defensive and we were just in this crazy cycle of tension now 
he immediately jumps into solving the problem and it's because of growth obviously but it's also the communication if you talk to your husband crazy or like he's a little boy or like he's one of your little minions that might make things more difficult for you this only happens because men make better followers than they do leaders think about it if it's the woman's like attitude that sets the tone for the whole family that sounds like she's the leader to me everybody else is following her lead and it sounds like even he needs her to have a certain tone or attitude so that he can fall in line but it's her that sets the tone and that's a leader and some of y'all may not like this but it's the truth the way that women get gaslit and misled about this is being tone policed instead of telling women that they're good leaders because the whole family ends up taking their lead always they get told that they need to change and soften their tone so that the man can fall in line that's crazy. Like, you're you're being gaslit. Your strengths are being used against you. To be extremely clear, this is not me trying to dunk on the original creator of the video. She's very lovely. And I would say that she definitely has a point. Like, nobody wants to be communicated with harshly. I just want to add to this point that this happens, literally, this happens, because men are not natural leaders. They are natural followers. If you go and you watch her whole video, she says that she used to come to her husband with a laundry list of complaints, and he would get defensive. Boom, right there. That's how you know that man is not a leader, like naturally. He has to be coaxed into action like a follower would, not like a leader would. If you come to a leader with a laundry list of complaints, first of all, they read the room. So like your harsh tone would not put off a true natural leader. Somebody who's a good leader needs to be able to stay calm under stress. They can't be like flying off the handle and getting defensive when somebody comes to them with a laundry list of things that need to be done and their tone is urgent. They're not going to stop and address the tone right there in that moment. They're going to jump into solution mode. They're going to jump into, okay, let's take care of it. And then we'll talk about what happened later. Okay. Because being turned off by tone, that's not a leadership skill or quality. That's somebody who's not thinking leadership first. The reason I say natural is because with a woman, you don't need to adjust the circumstances in order to coax her into being proactive or solution oriented. Like, women will straight up be getting physically, mentally, emotionally like assaulted in their marriage and their kids won't know a damn thing. Your kids will still be fed, healthy, happy, all that. You speak to a husband, you speak to a father, you speak to a man sideways once, like, storms out of the house or he starts yelling or he gets defensive, gets everybody's anxiety up. Like that's not leadership. That's not leadership. That's somebody that needs to be led. That's somebody that needs to be put in their place because they don't know where their place is and they're messing up the dynamic instead of being helpful. So the tone policing really gets to me because like when a man has command and control over his emotions and when he has command and control over the family dynamic, when he gets to set the family dynamic, we call him a good leader, a head of household. When a woman does the exact same thing, like she's proactive, in the face of challenge, like she is on it, like she's not letting circumstances affect her. We tell her that she needs to change her tone. First and foremost, when we say that a woman's tone, you know, controls or sets the family dynamic, we are right then and there admitting that she is the family leader, right? Because everybody follows her. If it was her husband that was the leader, then he would be able to handle the situation and handle the tone. Men are actually very reactive. They are not proactive. They are not initiators. Women often are. And oftentimes men really have to be coaxed into taking the lead with a lot of like supervision and therapy and a lot of, you know, tone policing of women. Like the woman has to make herself so, so small so that the man feels comfortable leading. You know, she can't come to him with big feelings or frustrations because he's not a leader. He's a follower. Like you've got things backwards. You're trying to put someone in charge that shouldn't be in charge. Leaders don't go on defense. Leaders only go on offense. The only reason that you would ever go on defense when something is brought to you that you need to deal with is when you know for a fact that the buck doesn't stop with you. There's a reason why women don't often get defensive. They go on the offense and they do it right the next time. Go on the offense and figure out a way forward. Like we're not known for being very defensive. Men are. It's the men that like as soon as you take the wrong tone, as soon, instead of going on the offense, they'll basically stand there and blame everything but their own selves. But take responsibility like a leader would. And they'll stand there and they'll blame everything. They'll blame you, your tone, your children, his own responsibilities. They'll blame their circumstances. They'll blame everything but themselves. That is so that they don't have to figure out a way forward. They just want to be relieved of the responsibility. Does that sound like a leader to you? That doesn't sound like a leader to me. That sounds like somebody who's trying to shrug off their responsibility, which means they don't think that the buck stops with them. Once again, the only time that you would ever be defensive about something is when the buck doesn't stop with you. You're the leader. You get to fix it. 
if you want to be the head of household, then the buck stops with you. That is not where a lot of men are at. The buck does not stop with them. They have no idea what's going on in their household, so how can they ever be expected to lead it? At best, they can manage it, but like I said, with a lot of tone policing, with a lot of coaxing, with a lot of like baby steps, the environment has to be just right for them to lead. That means they're not natural leaders. I'm just saying, like, it's, it's one or the other. It's either the woman's tone affects the man and affects his leadership ability and affects his ability to lead, or men are natural leaders. It's one or the other. One or the other. A woman typically has to deal with children all day who defy her all day, who are defensive with her, who are trying to get their way, and she manages just fine. She has a husband that doesn't know how to do anything. She has a husband who tone polices her. She has a therapist who tone polices her, and yet, and yet, all of her responsibilities are met the children are taken care of she doesn't let their tone affect her performance and yet she keeps working at things with her husband and she keeps stone policing herself and making herself smaller and doing everything because she knows the buck stops with her she's right like this woman is right in a way but i'm just saying that actually points to a weakness that men have they are not natural leaders because they don't respond well to feedback to big feelings they don't respond well to criticism they don't respond well to responsibility they don't respond well to other people's tone none of that makes a good leader that makes at best you make a good follower if there is a good leader so actually what this woman is describing in her video is her becoming an even better leader and then her husband is able to be a, more of a household task manager along with her but you'll notice even in the case that she came to him with like hey, I've got too much on my plate, like whatever. And she said it nicely and everything. Still, the best thing that he managed was to outsource all of that stuff to the kids. He took her need, he took her request, and then managed it. So basically what she's had to do is to contort herself into somebody who is still a leader, but just doesn't look like a leader. They look like somebody asking a leader for help when actually it's the other way around. Because again, if he was a leader, he would A, probably already know that she's struggling. Like he's coming to her to ask her questions. That's follower behavior. That's underling behavior. What can I do for you? Look around, why don't you know? It's not a woman's job to know and to delegate. And again, if you are delegating things to your husband to delegate to others, you're still the leader, you know? And that's fine, that's good and well, I think that's great. I just, I feel like everything, you know, falls back on women like in such a negative way. Like, oh, you need to change your tone so that your husband can step into some bigger shoes around the house. Like, if you have to baby someone like that, then they are not a natural born leader. And also, very importantly, a leader is somebody who is able to do the work thanklessly and without recognition. A leader is somebody who is actually able to put their needs last. In the case of, like, bringing something up to your husband and just because you brought it up in the wrong tone, he gets defensive and derails the whole conversation and you end up going in a circle. He needs to feel like he won and he needs to be given accolades for all of his services and sacrifices. That's once again not a leader. It's the same confusion that men have about like alpha behavior alpha behavior is actually not being the leader of the pack or the most important in the pack or the person who is catered to first it's actually the inverse of all of those things there are two alphas in every pack and they're actually just the parents of the pack i that published the study rescinded it like 10 years back and was like we totally misread it it's not just like one male wolf it's actually the parents that both assume the alpha role that's the best case scenario but again if your husband is not on the same level as you he doesn't know what the tasks are you need to come to him with a laundry list you need to tell him everything and you also need to have a certain tone with him that sounds like a child that sounds like a dependent that does not sound like a leader you know maybe just start giving credit where credit's due i hope that helps stay safe out there i love you i totally agree with the great thoughts be honest i feel like men some men are not natural leaders and uh, sometimes as a woman you need to lower your voice to talk to them because most of the time they always get defensive they always try to you know oh you speak to me with that tone da, 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 da. or because of that they will not even do that most of them don't even know what's going on in their household for them to lead most men are not, not they're not available in their household for them to lead so what what do you want to leave when you don't even know what's going on in the environment that you're staying most of the time it's women that take the lead but it make it look as if it's the men that take the lead and because it takes a woman that you know just doesn't want so much stress you just you know what let me tell you what to do this i what to do but sometimes it can be very annoying especially when you're with a man child that you always always want to tell what to do always want to tell them what to do it just feel especially when you now have children and it feels like you have <laughs> extra hands to start taking care of what do you think guys do you think men are natural leaders or not i to me 
I feel like they they are not really naturally. There's not all of them. Some of them they want you to tell them what to do, and they don't even know what to do. Most of them don't know what to do. And when you as a woman you're trying to tell them and show them what to do, they get offensive. They tell you that oh you're just the world. They just they just want to feel like oh they are the men in the relationship, but then they don't even know the right thing to do. And I, another thing I agree is that speaking in a low tone and not raising your voice to people can actually make them, you know, do the right thing. Yes, that I agree. Because it's not every time you always shout. Shout even to your children. When you keep raising your voice at them, you keep raising your voice at them. doesn't mean that they are going to change or do whatever you want them to do. So speaking in a cool tone and low tone most of the time can make you be able to communicate well with your partner and i feel like that can help in your relationship if that makes sense so it's not every time you always raise your voice oh i, I told you i told you i need to do this da, 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 da. no like always just like this is what's supposed to be done da, da, da. but <clears throat> when it comes to men being naturally that i will say uh, i don't think so because most of them just behave like they are children they don't want to lead well but then what is your take in today's conversation i really love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section let's have conversation in the comment section respectfully and thank you all so much for tuning in in today's video it's your girl again mara david and don't forget to like and share and subscribe and you know turn on the post notification bell as usual so you can get notified as soon as i upload another one and i'll see you all in my next one <laughs> bye